A new policy in the city of Hoover has some residents concerned. The video retention policy put in place does away with how long council meetings are archived. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell looked into this and tells us what she found out. I spoke with both city council president John Lida and pro temp Kurt Posey. Both declined to go on camera answering any of my questions, saying it's not a big deal. But people just want to know why. If you go to the city of Hoover's YouTube page, you'll notice council meetings from over the years are now gone. They have done nothing wrong, so therefore they have nothing to hide. And so the question is, why are we not showing what we have done? Why, why are we not showing the people's business in the city of Hoover? Uh, you have no reason to hide any of that. Robin Schultz noticed the change when he was looking for public comment from a previous meeting regarding sidewalks. Minutes only say so much, and the minutes have changed drastically from the way they used to be, which was very detailed to very, very brief, and there's very little information in the minutes. The video really captures what, what, was, what went on at the meetings. Under the new policy, the city clerk is directed to retain the business portion of the meetings for either 60 days or until minutes are approved, whichever comes later. However, that does not include public comment. The policy that they just recently put is to protect their interest, not the people of Hoover. Some people concerned. I believe the, this transparency issue. However, other residents don't seem to mind. It don't bother me a whole lot. I'm, I'm out in the public a lot, you know, doing my Santa thing and also I, I catch most of the local news anyhow. Audio and video recordings are considered temporary records, not permanent public records. So the city isn't required to archive the live streams. Schultz would like to see the council revisit the discussion. I want to see things back the way they were. Put the meetings on, show the meetings, let us take a look at them in perpetuity. And if the, if the, uh, if the meetings from the past are still there, which I hope they are, then make them public again so we can see them back to 2016. I also want to point out before this policy went into effect, it was never voted on before the council. It is unclear if the videos were deleted from YouTube or just made hidden from the public. In Hoover, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. And according to the policy, the public is allowed to make recordings with reasonable limitations. Valerie asked Council President John Lida, who manages the YouTube page for the city, his response as of September 6th. The policy directs the clerk on how to stream and save videos.